So hello everyone. Today we are having Farhan with us, and uh, in this video uh, we will talk about uh, a job option in company, and he will share his own experience, like how he got the job. Uh, so he is right now studying, doing his masters. So Farhan, thank you very much for joining us. It's totally and completely my pleasure. So uh, could you share some information, like what are you studying here, and when did you start your studies? So currently, I'm doing masters in social entrepreneurship from Tallinn University. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a two years uh, degree program. I started back in 2018 August. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to graduate by June 2020, but due to the delay in my thesis, I extended it till next year. Okay, and uh, when did you get your job? I suppose this, this is your first job, like you are still doing. Right. Yes, uh, this is the first job which I applied back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, it was March when, no, not exactly March, it was in February when I applied for the job and I got it in March. So the, the company which, with whom I'm actually working at the moment is an online identity verification company named Verif. Uh, it's a startup uh, based in Estonia. Uh, run by two Estonians, Karl and Janer. So, so uh, is there any specific requirement for the job? So when you entered in the company, so the profile you applied for, for the first time, was there any specific requirement like a person has to be from that domain or anyone can apply for that job? Well, to be honest, uh, the the one I applied back then it was a verification specialist. It was a, it was an entry level position. So, uh, the the competition in our company is very tough because they said they are more tougher than Howard because I think Howard takes every twenty seventh or twenty eighth application, mm -hmm. and I think in our company they says or they they actually try to share this. I, I'm not exactly sure that whether it's a Harvard or Stanford or which university they actually give the example. Okay. But in our company, every 30 second application is being accepted. And what do you mean by application? So uh, if, if we have one position, mm -hmm. so... Okay, so you are talking about number of applications. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. So, uh, what was the recruitment process like? You, what was the recruitment process for that position? So I applied mm -hmm. uh, via email, mm -hmm. and uh, I sent my resume. I sent my cover letter, and a day later, I got an email to to share the video link. Then I video, had, sorry, video link for what? Video link to to give certain. Uh, answers of certain questions like how would you describe yourself and you have to record those answers and then you have to give it okay. send back to them mm -hmm. that was a very initial uh, uh, and after so that after that i had a one-on-one -on -one interview with uh, two ladies one from russia and one from estonia both of them were team leads they were actually trying to assess that whether i'm a i'm a good applicant or uh, do I need to continue the step forward or I should be cut off there and then? So could you share some question if you remember like what question they asked you? Well, uh, they asked me uh, my, the time duration of my whole interview was about 45 minutes. It was okay. a pretty, pretty long one. Uh, they, they asked about my background, like what I did. Mm -hmm. Because I had uh, experience in, in the management, in the, okay, in so the operations, in the event management, in vendor dealing, in coordination, in marketing, in sales, in fundraising. So they, they were trying to figure out that, do I qualify for this job or am I fit, a perfect fit for this job? So, but uh, the, 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 the kind of question they asked me was pretty good. Like uh, they said, if you get uh two offers at the same time one from verif mm -hmm. which is with, with whom i'm actually working now and and one from another uh, company my response at that point in time was that because in their email when they send it to me for this uh, physical interview 
they said please wear your best socks because we have no shoe policy and what does that mean uh, so about this no shoe policy means that you cannot have your shoes inside the office okay. so so you can you can have the slippers they they provide you the slippers but you cannot have your own uh, shoes around the, and roaming around the office so based on that thing i i felt if they actually take care of their office mm -hmm. that means they 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 more take care of their people as well so i connected the human touch in mm -hmm. that and i said uh, based on this line i would definitely go for that company who take care of their employee because this is a very this might be a very nominal thing for some people uh, who are who will be watching this but when it comes to me uh, i'm more of like a family person because this gives you an overview of how your employer actually take care of your needs your hygiene your the office environment and everything okay so now uh, i'm going to ask you the most important question people are much interested about to know so how much are you getting if you don't mind sharing the numbers well if i start from the beginning uh, i have been earning like 6.5 euros uh, excluded uh, no sorry included taxes back then so the 6.5 euros is for per hour per hour yes so on average how much were you making like in the beginning per month in the beginning it was around 1000 something 1000 1200 or something like that and, and right yeah. now yeah because i started as a verification specialist then i moved uh, right after two and a half months to another position which was verification support specialist okay so you got promotion yeah i got promo i wouldn't say it's a promotion or something like that it's just like another position came up and i found interesting interest in that so i just moved into that part. okay okay and then uh, back in june 2019 there was another position which was quality assurance so you moved to them that so i i moved to that one so uh, there were uh, three of the my colleagues who said this is a rapid uh, rapid growth uh, they said so so you know, when when you go from uh, verification specialist which was an entry level position i earned like 6.5 euros per hour mm -hmm. in in the daytime when i have it and it's like 10 10 euros per hour in the night time so we had a shifts back then so we you, you have a morning shift you have evening shift you have night shift and if you work on the uh, government holidays or on the holidays which are gazetted mm -hmm. so you you get the double salary so if it it was 10 euros per hour if you work on the night time you you have like 20 euros per hour so what about now so currently uh, average on month how much uh, so currently i'm uh, earning like 1550 euros which is the gross so mm -hmm. the net is after the taxes it's around 1250 <laughs> what's your plan after once you are done with your studies uh, at the moment i'm i'm more focusing on uh, the positions that are related to my field just like uh, project management uh, of some uh, unhcr or UNESCO or UNAOC which is United Nations Alliances of Civilizations or United Nations uh, human resource or something like that human rights and stuff like that so I'm more interested into that phase but uh, I haven't chalked it down so yeah but it's still in my pipeline so uh we hope uh, this information is useful for you and uh, thanks again farhan thank you very much yeah.